very exciting everybody we have managed to excavate this thing and uh, not quite as exciting as a lion hunt but uh, we have managed we used a primitive tool to start with then we used a sort of rudimentary hammer with a rudimentary chisel and then we managed to evolve to using an axe and that eventually is what ev allowed us to excavate the skull and there it is as predicted by Sebastian and one or two viewers it is a warthog it certainly was a warthog. It is no longer a warthog. It is dead and has been for some time. How wonderful. Lance, you want to know if we have shovels in South Africa? Yes, we do absolutely have shovels, uh, just not out here on bushwalk. We don't normally carry shovels with us on bushwalk. Uh, normally, we just have to use sticks because, uh, well, we don't normally expect to do much paleontological work or digging, really. Uh, this was quite exciting, though, and you can see how hard the ground has become. There's a lot of clay in it. And there's obviously quite a lot of mineral that allows the clay to stick together, so it's obviously full of uh, salts and things. Fascinating, isn't it? And look here how the skull has sort of turned to that orange, it's absorbing water, and that is eventually why it will rot and eventually disintegrate. So while it will last obviously hugely longer than muscle and sinew and organs and skin and hair, uh, it will not last forever. And it's important, of course, at this point. I, for many years, thought that a fossil, of course, was just a bone that had been buried, but it isn't in many cases, and that's why fossils are so difficult to um, to age, because you can't carbon date them. They're not actually organic anymore. They are rock, and, of course, you can't carbon date rock, can you, because there's no carbon in it. This we could definitely carbon date and probably find that it died last year or two years ago. I think. Good. That was an excellent uh, little interlude, especially while you were watching a lion kill.